all right easy bakers so for today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to make this bacon and onion roasted red potatoes honey but if you haven't already follow me on instagram at adaverny freeman and let's go ahead and be a gang gang by hitting that subscribe button so let's jump into the video so in my handy dandy iron skillet i'm just gonna fry up my bacon i did cook them until they're about 75 percent um crispy that i like them to be so you're gonna cook them until they're as crisp halfway to you don't want to cook them as crispy as you want them to be because they're going to continue to cook in the oven so now i'm going to take my medium red potatoes chopped into about three fourths of an inch you know pieces and i'm just going to go ahead and do that i did wash and scrub my potatoes before i placed them inside of this bowl you definitely want to make sure you'll potatoes are clean or your ass gonna be eating dirt girl so once you done chopped up your potatoes just go ahead and place them to the side and check on your bacon as you guys can see the bacon is not crispy while I'm turning it over um, because like I said before I do not want to crisp out this bacon because I am going to be putting this in a 425 degree oven. And I don't know about you, but one thing I cannot stand is some overcooked food. Like if it's overcooked, I can't do it. But anywho, but once your bacon get done, you're going to take them out, drain them, and then chop them up. And to that same pot, you can drain out a little bit of your uh, bacon grease if you have just too much bacon grease. But I didn't, and I wanted potatoes absorb everything, so I just left it how it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump my um, chopped potatoes into the pan, and I'm going to add my seasonings to this. I am not doing anything special with these seasonings, you guys. I'm just basically doing everything to taste. So I did add one pack of my onion uh, soup mix. It's like a two ounce packet. Um, if you guys don't know, I love this seasoning packet. I use it for my meatloaf. I use it for a lot of different things. So this packet, this Lipton onion soup is a must in your kitchen. So you wanna go ahead and add that. I did a little uh, garlic powder, onion powder, as well as salt and pepper to taste. So season to taste, but definitely get that onion packet soup so i like to add my bacon when i have fully uh, mixed in all of that seasoning and now i'm just going to go ahead and mix my bacon it up again and i did use a food processor to chop up this bacon but you can chop it before you even cook it Chad. now you want to go ahead and stick this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes checking on it at the 20 minute mark and you just want to make sure that your potatoes are fully cooked through you should be able to slide your fork easily through each of your potatoes or you could use your fork to just cut it so that's how you know your potatoes are done so you guys this was a very um fast video thank you so much for watching this video i did add a little bit of parsley flakes to it because i'm trying to be extra you know what i'm saying extra for the gram but yeah so that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching this video i really do appreciate you super easy to make great for valentine's day if you want to be fine sitting and sit with your boot thing talk to you on my next video girl